Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here. This is Pickle Pack Intergalactic Discovery episode 41. How you doing today? I have been feverishly working over my hot machines over here, turning um, crushed obsidian and diamonds into refined obsidian, and then throwing the refined obsidian stuff and osmium up into here to get refined osmium ingots and then putting the osmium ingots and some of this moon turf like so 32 which is ridiculous so it takes one crushed obsidian and one diamond or this compressed diamond is one diamond down to 10 basically uh, and then it takes eight of them and some osmium to make one of these ingots and then it's one of these ingots 32 moon turf to make the reinforced lunar alloy. So it's a lot, it's a lot of work, um, but it has its uses. So a couple of things we can do. First thing, it wants us to make a gravity core. Now it's going to require nether star. I don't have too many nether stars. I think I've only got the one actually. So let's, I'm going to need the refined obsidian. I'm going to need to make a uh, refined, refined glowstone. I need to make one more of these. So how are these made? 32 glowstone. Glowstone. Half a stack. And a bit of osmium. Oh wait, make me one more of those ing ingots. I'm going to need a little bit more osmium. Tin. There it is. I don't have tons of that either. Not sure if that's set up to be automatic. One more of them. I don't know, does this export? Lead, tin, and, oh, no, it doesn't do osmium. Does it work for osmium? We're stuck again. Oh, can you do osmium? We're obviously out of uh, out of our solution again because there's no power because it's night time. So let's make it daytime. Maybe that'll kick off. There it goes. It'll kick off again because it's getting some more of its hydrogen hydrogen chloride. No. 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 <laughs> Turn off. That'll loop. Some other material. You can go back into the system. Really not sure if osmium works here. Find out in a second, I guess. Did we get osmium chunks? We did. Alright, so osmium, osmium does work. That's cool. Right, so what are we going to do with this stuff? I need one more of them to make a gravity core. Uh, and this is one of Blake Bro's tweaks, because it's part of his tweak pack. Um, middle one. Now it wants the charge gravity core, it wants a gravity gun and it wants a portal core. So the reward I got for that was the bag. Let's check what's in the bag. Give me something good. Wow. That's not good. I don't want that. That's terrible. So the charged gravity core. Oh, there's a gravity gun. Here's the charged. It requires dark solarium ingots. Two blocks of refined glowstone, another nether star, and another gravity core. I don't have a nether star, and I would need to make a ton of refined glowstone ingots to do that. So let's just, you know, let's just make this one gravity gun. Oh, I had another gravity core in there. Ah, oh. that was a spary. I'm going to get another one for this gravity gun. Nice. It's a portal core. How do you make a portal core? Now the star. Don't have one. Right, so I'm going to throw them away. Now gravity gun, I believe, should be, should be like, well, like the original portal gun mod. Should allow me to pick up, I guess, entities for a start. Oop. 
bit of lag. Oh, I pick. Let's try and pick up a sheep. Yep, and then I can fire him. Poor sheepy. Aha, I got a duck. Chicken, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that gravity gun, pretty cool little thing. Um, don't think you can pick anything else up with it. It's not going to allow me to pick up blocks, but it will be. It will allow. I do believe you can push with it. Yep. So that was left click to push, right click and hold to pick them up, and then while you're holding them, you can left click and fire them away. Oh, I can pick that chest up. Why can't I pick this chest up? Oh, I can. Okay. That's a good way of moving stuff around. Might work for spawners too. Cool. What else can we do this episode? Let's have a look in the book here. Portal core. Yep, so that refire. Nether star. Um, I guess the other thing we can work on. Unstable ingot. Compressed cobble. I don't think I've got the compressed cobble at the moment. Uh, really don't think I have cobble. Because I've got the barrel that's um, maxed out. I don't think. Oh, I do have quadruple. Uh -huh. Alright. Stop looking. I've got quadruple compressed. So all I need. Let's make the portal to the deep dark. And maybe we can move our quarry over there. So I need three reinforced. Okay, let's let's try this out. Portal. I'm going to require some burnt quartz, which is going to be quartz. In here. It's just to make sure we get it. Yep, burnt quartz, excellent. And then all I'm going to require is one of these. Um, do I have my bits and pieces I require? Wow! Yay, some more pickles. In you go. They can go in, they can go, and that. Uh, is it in my bag? Nope. I want a sigil. What do I need? I need the... I'm going to make it out of nuggets. It's a little bit more expensive. One unstable ingot. One portal to the deep dark. Excellent. Claim our reward. Next thing we could probably do is make a big reactor. So we'll go to the deep dark, maybe a bit later on. Let's check what's in our bags. Wow. Yeah, that's alright. Wow. That's alright. Wow. And some more pickles. Awesome. Just what I've always wanted. Alright, I'll keep that on me. Seeing as I just sort of seem to chew on uh, soy milk lately because I had so much of it from making that. Um, I don't really know where to put this at the moment. I don't want to accidentally stand on it. I kind of want to place it somewhere I don't always walk. So I don't really walk anywhere, I fly around everywhere. Eh, yeah, we'll place him there. So to go here, you just stand on it and it'll, it'll teleport you over. What should do. Oh, I think you right click in this version. Newer versions, you stand on it. Alrighty, so big reactors. So in between episodes, I'm, I'll um, move the quarry to the deep dark and get it all set up and make it all nice and pretty and uh, have it working over there. But if we're going to start running that all the time, we need some better 
um, a little bit better power generation like this solar panel helps us but it certainly isn't the be all and end all of what we need so let's look at big reactors so the book wants us to make some big reactor stuff it wants a reactor controller so the reactor controller is going to require reactor casings and this is where the moon turf and all that came in um, to make reactor casings requires steel and reinforced lunar alloy so I'm going to need a ton of this I'm also going to need some more of this yellow orium um, 16 is not a lot we get at least one more steel I've got enough steel yeah see I'm gonna to need to make a ton more um, of these lunar ingots which is just tedious let's go with let's just go with four lots it's done now to make this we need that that's one reactor controller what else do we need so we made casings we need reactor glass we need a control rod control rod so graphite bars are just coal that's smelted it's a control rod. What else do we need? We need a power tap, access port, and coolant port. Really? Power tap, access port. Need a piston. Did I tell it, teach it pistons? I did. I would normally use two of these, but it wants a coolant port as well. Could be almost out. Now, what else do you need? You want your lorium fuel rod and reactor glass. Fuel rod. Lots of steel. Just one of them, is it? Yep. And reactor glass. Where is a reactor glass? There. What sort of glass is it? You use quartz. Wow, that's nasty. Let's get a few quartz. Put that lunar alloy in there. We'll get more of that obsidian stuff going. I'm kind of mindful of um, making sure I've got the right number of um, items in here because this takes for 20 I would need two of these because it takes 10 per unit. Two fuse quartz. One reactor glass. That is our quest. Gonna get some glass and some casings and a reward bag. Let's have a look in our bag. Wow! The moon turf. It'll come in handy. Definitely needed. See, one one stack of moon turf is two ingots. It's it. So I don't have anywhere near enough casings to make any sort of decent reactor. But I think for the moment that's kind of off the table. One more. You can see me going up and running ragged over the moon for a bit. Come on, I'm trying to sleep. Alright. Hey, you got a f Let's see what those other two quests that it just unlocked were. Didn't I get a bag? Did I open it already? Anyway. Uh, it wants coolants. It wants a resonant ender bucket using the smeltery. Okay. 
How many ender pills do I have? Um, should only need four, and I need a bucket. Okay, so it should be four. So I guess I can throw four in here. All right, looks like it's melting. Should be able to throw the bucket on the table. Two, two nuggets of molten iron. I really should clean this out. Oh, there's a little bit of ender in there already. It's only a tiny bit. I think an enderman stepped in there from memory. Way back when. Alright. Come on. Melt down. Let's get the bucket. I was wondering how this would work in this pack without um, thermal expansion. Four of them should give me a bucket's worth. Yep, 1,025. So I can go yoink and it should put it in the bucket. Thousand. Excellent. One bucket of resin and ender. And as a reward, we're going to get two buckets, which I can't claim because I don't have the room in inventory. Um. Away with you, and you, and you, oh and you, oh, I'm going to need these a lot, alright, claim reward, got three buckets, uh, next one I need to actually, a thousand cyanide ingots, really, you can see I'm going to be um, doing a lot of work here. Power armor table requires lunar ingots and a vibrant crystal and some heavy duty plate. Do I have any of that? Do I have any heavy duty plate? No. Nope. So I need three. This episode's very steadily turning into a let's just make whatever's available to make. Because I haven't found the other rocket plan. I haven't been back up to the moon to find another rocket. Uh, to find another moon boss and kill him. Um, these are going to require with a skeleton skulls and that's the other reason I haven't made these things because I haven't found any more skeleton skulls this what does this require that's just some steel I don't make any of that oxygen bubble there you, go. you got two plates which means you're not going to be able to make that so I need to get some steel Low on steel now. So I guess I've got to do another run through here with some steel. Which isn't that bad, but... Um, let's have a look here. So, stack of iron. Two stacks of coal. One in there, and one in there. So, where can I set up this? I mean, we can make a little basic reactor. I probably want a few more items if I'm going to make my own reactor, especially if I'm going to automate it slightly. But I wonder what's the smallest you can make a reactor. I've never actually looked into it. Make a little baby one. I mean, I'd like to go just all out from the get-go and make a proper sized one. I just don't have the... Normally I do a 7x7, seven seven, I think it is. No, that's not what I want. I want... I might just have a bit of a play. Give me, give me a couple of minutes. I'll have a play with a reactor and see if I can get something that will work without me needing to um, create four million new blocks. And I'll be back with you in just a tick. Okay, we're back. Um, I've spent a long time making, making everything I needed. So I've got a, 
a, a, a 7x7 made. There's enough space around the inside. Uh, I do need to move one of these blocks. And I've got to make some red alloy cables or whatever they're called. The conduits. Redstone conduits. Uh, but we're going to cool this cool this off. So let's get up in here. Uh, and the way, I, way I'm going to do it is with resin and ender buckets. So we've got one, two, three, four. And then we'll go back and get the other four. From the smeltery. One. It's gonna take a little bit longer than I was hoping. And we'll uh, we'll finish up with this reactor. Let's get some eulorium. Jeez. Sometimes this jet plate thing is too fast. We'll just take the the 49 that we've got here. I'm gonna get this done. Coming night time. Is it night yet? No. Meow. Uh, so we've got some eulorium to put in it. Let's start the next one going. Grab some redstone conduits. Conduit. Let's grab some of that. Uh, that might do. Sleep quickly. Come on. Sleep. Okay. Last bucket, this should be the fourth one, and we'll get this all set up, and we will wrap up the episode with this. Getting this started. In here, up, up we go, into the little hole, and I'm going to fill this back in afterwards. So we've got, um, one there, one there, one there. One there, and the last one is in the middle here, I think. Like so. And then we put our eight back on top. Like that. There's dirt here. Harry, not the control rod. Like that. And then we get our undo it, which isn't going to attach, is it? Come on. Why are you not connecting? Oh, I'm going to need the other one. But this is just to automate it, to turn it on and off. But pretty much, here we go, we got uh, one's an input, we'll throw that in there. This one can be the output. Um, it's not hooked up to anything yet, but let's see what it does when we turn it on. On. Not sure what sort of power it's going to produce. Probably nothing amazing. We're getting 468. It's fairly cold. I could probably put another... Probably put another few coolant rods in there but this is I mean, it's no better than this this is you know these things are putting out 512 and this is putting out 467 so this is average at least so I'm gonna have to make a few more items up and in between episodes I'm gonna tweak this a little bit and make it um, probably add a couple more fuel rods inside just to make it a bit hotter I guess to produce more power but that's, you know, we're, we're starting to get there some, somewhat. Oops. So it helps if I show everything. So I was going to connect it up to this, but it's not really needed right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I'll tweak this a little bit in between episodes and we'll get a bit more power. Um, that's empty. Come back next episode and we'll try and... Um, I'll have moved the quarry to the deep dark, I think. Uh, which, you know, it's not, nothing amazing in the deep dark. If you go in the dark, you get attacked by things. And we might get into some power armor. I'll have to take another trip to the moon. Get some more uh, moon turf. I've still got about a thousand in the system. And I'm going to need to get some more withers, withers skeleton skulls so we can make a few more of these 
cores here, get some more um, with us nether stars and and some more skulls to make these yellow heart casters. But we're getting along. Things are coming to the pointy end of this pack, I think. So hope you all enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. Come back next time for some more questing. And we'll see you later.